it's a very bleak miserable windy and wet Sunday evening and I'm meeting Sandra at an Indian takeaway well I've not had a takeaway from here for a very long time um, all being well she should be here shortly I'm gonna order a set meal for two there she is set meal for two and all being well We'll organise it to be <coughs> collected and I'm going to have a quick pint, I do believe, where we are, in the, uh, in the Stonies. Miserable, isn't it? Where do you do it? Are you hiding your face? <laughs> uh, we know the guy who owns this pub here, Morris. It's literally Lotus House. That's a used to be uh, my favourite Chinese. That. Oh, what are you doing, Sandra? Blowing a gale. Yeah. Blowing a gale? Who's who's gale? And who's she blowing? Right. Oh. Sandra climbing me with beer. Where, where is it, Sandra? Did it used to be up there? It used to be up there. What, what used to be up there? Hardy's beer. I was just asking what happened to Hardy's beer. Where is it? No, it's not behind me at all. Not anymore. You got, 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 got very giggly, didn't you, Sandra? Who's being daft? Who's being daft? Hey? <laughs> what? <laughs> right. Very stormy. Let's go and pick up a. Uh... Oh. Storm, storm. storm damage. There's a bin bag on the floor. Oh, there's more rubbish over there. So that used to be my very first school there, Sandra. It did. I used to walk there from Old Meadow Lane with my mum when I was about four years old. So I started in, um, what do you call it, infant school, isn't it? Right, let's get a takeaway. Starving. Right, yo, let's see Raj done in Timpley. I've got a massive bag of food. Well, probably be, this is, we're coming, coming towards our... In fact, in fact, we've had two two takeaways this week we had more more takeaways in this this last week than in the last two months when was the last takeaway we got Sandra I can't remember was it we had a Chinese in we at one stage we had one Chinese I think yeah I've been trying to be good I've no I've been I mean I'm always good to you Sandra very good right so a bit of a starter some poppadom some chutney and onions Sandra's dive straight in she's not even offered me one have you you said you don't like them. Like what? You said you can have the onion barges, I quote. I don't like them. What may have changed my mind? What, what about Russia? <laughs> she loved the kebab. Oh, right. Is that yoghurt? Or oh, mint? Yeah. Oh, can't be doing that. Right. Papa Dom's. Sheets kebab. And a bit of salad. And then we've got, the, we got our mains to go. Right, and some rice going. And I've got some mains going. It's, it's, it's like an egg in this. This is quite interesting. I've got a massive piece of naan bread for dunking some of the sauce. And Rasha is waiting very, very patiently here. Rasha, right? You just had a bit of kebab. What do you say? I need to fill my belly. Gorgeous curry last night. Uh, really, really, really tasty. And really good value for money, to be honest. It was um, 25 quid for two. And that was uh, mains, poppadoms, nan bread, cheese kebab, oh, pickles. Anyway, the whole lot. But that was really, really, really nice. Uh, back, back to another week. The weather's calmed down. We had the uh, Storm Aisha last night. Um, 
so it was blown an absolute hooli uh, into small hours. Anyway, this morning it's all quiet, all still, and the only thing that the only damage we've got here is it's blown over a bird table. Uh, <laughs> this unit here, I keep coming. To this, sorry, I'm, I'm boring everybody to death, aren't I, with this unit? Um, I have had more aggro with time wasters on this unit than anything I've ever sold on Facebook Marketplace. Anyway, somebody got in touch with me yesterday afternoon. Blah 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 blah. Um, made me an offer which obviously I'm willing to accept uh, and then late last night they said oh can you take it to bits for me so I said I'm not taking it to bits for you because um, what happens if you don't turn up and I said well, if, 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 let me know in the morning if you're coming and then I'll I'll take it to bits I'm no idea anyway they've just messaged that they are on the way here and should be here in half an hour so uh, yeah He's going to get myself a little bag to put the um, bits in and then um, disassemble this unit from Ikea. And all being well, that's gone. <sighs> it's been a nightmare. And then I might collapse all these. So all these boxes here now are all empty. Um, they just need folding up, free up some space. And there's very good progress now with this. Um, everything to move. I've just got two units downstairs to get rid of. Uh, and... Then when Sandra's ready, this computer desk has got to go as well, and that should be it. Right, the doors off, the shelves off. And I've got to figure out. Uh, yeah, just them underneath, isn't it? Um, I have to get this thing. I think I'm going to have to lay this down on the floor. Isn't it amazing if uh, any of you have ever done IKEA furniture? It's like, who on earth designed this? And then. Um, the whole prospect of putting it back together or disassembling it. How on earth do we do it? I think I did that on its side. Because uh, the back panel I'm assuming is just... I'm assuming is nailed on. Right, I'm on my own here. Uh, what could possibly right, go wrong? that side panel off. I need to get the uh, these out with a uh, pair of pliers. And then um, flip it over on its back, get the side out. And that should be it disassembled. Right, result. Will they turn up to pick it up or won't they? So I think I'm going to uh, get myself another cup of coffee. I'm sweating. Um, and if they do come and that's picked up, that's a relief. Then I'm going to possibly get some of the vacuum bags out and compress some of the bedding that we got out yesterday. And then sort through some of these boxes now into um, fold them up. Uh, Oh, well, the sun's come out. A beautiful day. Never rains in the UK, you know. Here, here in, in Great Britain, it, ne it never, ever rains. It sometimes does. And when it does, it bloody does rain. I'll, I'll be here. I'll be there by 11 o'clock at the latest. Half 11. Still waiting. Just a message. I'll be there in half an hour. <sighs> anyway, what I've done is... Use the time that I'm hanging around because even Rashes, uh, Rashes, you've been in the garden, but you're ready to go for a W, aren't you? You're ready to go for a walk, can't you, Rash? Hmm? You've been a good girl. Um, but I have got a beef stew waiting to go into the oven this afternoon for a couple of hours. Uh, some dumplings on that. Um, so. <sighs> <sighs> Facebook Marketplace is going to be the bane of me. An absolutely nightmare of a place. Anyway, we've... it's the way the cookie crumbles. Storm damage. <sighs> Ta table blew over. <laughs> uh, this used to be in our back garden, and when it was in the back garden, we had a some bricks on the base of this. Um, anyway, and these fat balls here, I've no idea why the birds just don't don't bother with them. Even at the back of the nurseries, they didn't bother with them. Right, let's bring the bins in. It's bin day. Right, so everything now, right over here, these bottles I've got a home for. Those just need boxing. That's all packing boxes. All packing box. All that kind of packing boxes. Um, if we don't use them, we'll find. Um, so we locally who's planning on moving we've probably got, we've ended up with too many boxes anyway a single mattress double mattress there's a double bed behind there um this area here is sandra's so we're not taking that computer to the desk i mentioned it already haven't i 
uh, these other things need to be sorted out in the next few weeks and that's um providing this unit gets picked up from marketplace that's hannah's old room pretty well emptied da, 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 da. we got there just about i'd let sandra probably fin finish this room off um on a vlog when when um when and if we get news on contracts and house moving which is taking forever yes, at the yes, moment yes yes it's gone 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 i've got no idea why that unit more than anything else ah anyway gone so whilst i was waiting for here do you remember these vacuum bags um if you followed the vlogs for a while you'll remember them um so there's 70 by 100 centimeters uh so i've just started to put some pillows in i'm just going to seal this one up now and just uh well i've got time vacuum bag up some of the uh some of the bedding I'm just showing what how these work basically that goes onto there you pull that over and then Oh, it, it came off. No good. Don't, don't over pull it. Let's try again. Oh, and there you go. Um, look at that. That's four pillows. Um, all done right let's have a look what else we can do while i'm doing this uh oh i'm so happy i've got rid of that unit uh, it's the uh, happiest man I've over here i've got a full single duvet which i'm hoping i can get into a bag and get this one compressed down as well you never know i may be able to i've got a pillow and a sheet there i may even be able to get in with this let's see how we go with this one right so that's a whole single duvet in and i'm hoping i can get these two items in as well and um, so these are the mattress protector and a single sheet let's lob that down the bottom i think i'm going to lob the pillow down the bottom i think i'll do i'll put the pillow down the miracle bottom. if this goes so that's all in and then you've got these like bag clips here which you use you clip these if you've if you've never used these vacuum bags or vacuum bags before um First of all, don't buy the super cheap, cheap things. You can get these like just for a couple of quid, but buy something fairly decent. So these are the ones that we're using. Um, so I see some people have been recommending. I don't know if there's a brand on there. Um, but anyway, they're the ones we're using. Say so these are 100 by 75 and they're quite sturdy. You can get cheapo bags and it's just don't, don't do it. But basically, um, what we do now we've got all that this in, we need to seal the bag. I'll try and show you what's going on here. But these sort of clip in on the end here, and then they pull over like a a zip bag. So it sort of clips in, and then basically, to make sure everything's in the bag, you get all as straight as you can. And if you pull it over, make sure all the contents are well and truly inside the bag. And basically. Uh, see here now it's come undone that's not that's no good now you're going to come to the other end let's go back we can't see what i'm doing but i make sure this this is completely sealed here yeah come out again right try again third time lucky neil And try and put this on the floor and uh, and seal it right there. you see how that was sealed up there all the way along now and then the hose goes onto here and then pull this up and it should all suckle down we'll try and try and give you some coverage
and that is four pillowcases in that bottom one pillowcase sheet and uh, an entire duvet in there so let's see how quickly uh quickly and easy and compact that's gone i've sort of folded this up the best that i can uh this is an entire king size feathered quilt so i managed to get it into the bag and again i'm just going to make sure the seal is sealed but that's a that's a king size quilt into that bag so i'll give you some idea of what um quantity these bags can hold wow look at that all right i'm not I'm, i won't show you me doing this i've just done it haven't i i'll show you what it's like when it's um when it's all vacuumed out there you go so just to give that into perspective of how compressed that all is now all of that when it was out of the vacuum bag filled that entire box so in there now there's just a couple of um random items nothing done but that entire box was full uh so when we get a little bit closer um clothing we'll put into another two here oh no another three three free um our clothing will be put into the vacuum bags again um and done but that's uh isn't that good job job well done neil um whew. Now, good, good, good. becomes a bit of a dumping ground um so that's another unit i'm probably going to give that away that was only a cheapo thing from b m bargains this is i'm guessing sandra's got yeah um bird seed so if you've got if you feed wild birds don't store your stuff if you're outside in plastic containers the rats and mice will get it you need a galvanized bin to store your bird food so that's what um that's what that is to stop any mice or rats this trunk has featured before i'm just gonna put that there this trunk was my dad's when he went to india in the war right 50 by 80 so all being well um i've got a unit to move all this out of the way this weighs a ton i'm hoping i can do this on my own um i've got this unit here now so this came <laughs> out of the conservatory it ended up in the dining room it's ended up in the living room and i'm hoping I can manhandle this on my own without breaking my back. This is this is seriously heavy. All right, I need to uh, get as much space as I possibly can with this one. Hey, Rush, I know you're waiting for a walk. Once once I've done this, we'll have a break. We'll have a break. You're being you're being so Rush is here. Take so me for a walk. Not long. So basically, I'm walking this, and um, a bit of a tricky one now. In a minute, I'm going to get it over the um, over the step here. Uh, and I say this this is this is really heavy right let's get for the final bit um whew, bloody hell that was some going that was some going uh right <laughs> our living room is coming bearer i need to get the vacuum out so i'll probably do have to have water rasher uh yeah um you used to have cds up there pictures are off the wall i've got this want to take off the wall um here don't let your fears stand in the way of your dreams so this is the bottom of the bottom of my stairs which is uh oh but yeah that was heavy i'm not too sure what i'm going to do it today i might leave it till tomorrow the final the final item to empty and list is going to be this and this has got a roller door on it this is amazing absolutely fantastic look at that there oh and that's my computer den there's my big tower my main main computer keyboard uh monitor scanner printer and everything uh it's been a really good unit that but i need to say goodbye to it um it's gonna be too heavy for sandra to to sort out but that needs emptying Oh, hello, Rash. You, you're waiting for me. You're being very patient, aren't you? We're not going to be long now. I'm just going to sit down for five minutes and get my breath together. Have something to eat. And then we'll take you for a W. Oh, God. I'm going to have a bit of leftover curry for me dinner. Well, at least the bins aren't blocking the pavement. Look at that. <laughs> Bin day. Sun's out. Blue sky. 
Yeah, Rush. And uh, Rush, you get to walk at long last. And, uh, and now we're vacuuming when I get in. Uh, and pull out the settees and everything. Glorious weather, right. We have a domestic day today, Russia. All going to plan. What are you doing? Lots of sniffs for Rush, the Nash. I mean, eyes are watering with the wind. Some people from One Trafford actually clearing branches and debris what came down last night. Never seen that before. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, this is dried out. Almost. Right, take myself off on a long walk without Russia. Um, she's beca she's becoming really old, Russia. I don't know. She just uh, the last few weeks. I'm not too sure why, but she just seems to have aged considerably. Anyway, I'm sure she's going to be all right. So, uh, take myself out for an hour walk, get some steps in. Keep my uh, keep my body in motion <laughs> just outside simply village and a place called lark hill which is a little green area um some people have it there cut through so each september second september second saturday in september an event happens here called the Timpley country fair and um I was sort of semi-involved in this in one way or another since it very first started, I think 1987. So I used to sponsor it when I had the business, BC Photographic and uh, things like that. And then, I don't know how many years ago, but a few years ago I got heavily involved. It was 2004, around that era. Um, I got quite heavily involved on the committee, uh, helping organise it. And then, as years went on, ended up being the chair other simply country fair um, and this green space here and over here is just full of stalls um, and then there's like a little arena we have in the middle here and he goes around back of the back back of the Lark Hill Centre it's a it's a, an amazing community event really really nice um, but the leading force behind it was somebody called uh, Roger Brook so I'm sitting down on this bench I'll explain why in a moment uh, and Roger was the, like the leading force and all the rest of it and it was absolutely amazing um, to work alongside Roger uh, and even in times when finances were grim Roger was a brilliant chair uh, Roger got poorly uh, he ended up with a brain tumour and unfortunately he died um, 2000 and I was looking here 13 so we got a memorial bench um, for him here so he was a chairperson uh, sorry secretary 1992 to 2013 but he pretty well ran it all uh, and as i say in the later years um i sort of yeah, getting involved anyway this is the second bench the first bench we got was a cheaper one this is uh, and it needs to be replaced just a few years ago um so that oak bench is in memory of roger uh, absolutely fantastic guy and obviously for the last I think 2019 from memory was the last event that I put on here and it's now got a new committee that have taken it on and um, it's fantastic to still see it going um, to this day so remember the events near you whether they be the little carnivals or whatever they rely on volunteers and so many people just take for granted that things like say I was involved in another thing called the Austrian Festival a much bigger event that it all happens by magic and it doesn't there's a lot of work goes on behind the scenes um, to make these things happen but yeah great memories of putting on the Simply Country Fair and to organize it to be to be fair it was fairly simple it wasn't um, over complicated and it was always pretty well for the most part self-sustaining uh, we had to get a constitution changed back in know, about 20 years ago to allow commercial people to have stalls because uh, they used to be just charities and a lot of the charities started to not get volunteers anyway for the last 20 odd years so, um, it's been completely self-sustaining which has been great to see 
I'm just looking on the um, <laughs> the Thorny Lane car park. I keep walking past it. It's got, I think, was it eight, nine electric points uh, on the car park over here. And you know what? There is one car plugged in. Amazing. One one car. Then you can see it over there. The rest of the car park is rammed. You can see the cars trying to get in and out. And um, yeah, I think the most I've seen there since I've been back is uh, three out of nine places madness right in the village i'm going to be turning around and heading back so i think i'll wrap this vlog off here the look at that there sizzling the steak stew and dumpling is ready and as ever just a big thank you if you stayed here to the end and from us to you here's a great big thumbs up look after yourselves people Take care. Thanks ever so much for watching.